Hello guys and welcome back to comment and it's time for another tutorial and today we are going to create a jetpack but not just a jetpack, a jetpack for the first person controller which is actually a pain in the ass um, about this world, it's just a simple world we just I just put together very quickly so we could just uh, fly around also if you guys want some special effects please put it down in the comment section and I will try to uh, create a tutorial for next week so what we're going to do is um, Put the right button, create a C sharp script and call it jetpack. We are going to open it and reload all. And because we are going to use the first person controller, the character controller, we're going to say you using Unity standard assets dot characters dot first person. Uh, because we're going to use that one and we are now going to put here um, a few variables um, the very first one is a public float speed you can see this as a multiplier um, we're just going to put it on 3 and it's just like how fast you go up and down and so on um, a public character controller char cont a public first person controller fc so we started to uh, why we need this line and then we have a public vector tree current vector so this is the vector the like the direction where you're going and you need to see this as a local space um, then a public float float current force you need to see this as um, there's a variable between 0 and 1 and you will just lurk between those to make sure that um, you just not go suddenly up or suddenly down it will just be a little, little bit more subtle um, even though it's kind of hard then we've got the private uh, I mean public float max force so this is like the fuel and we're just going to put it on 5 seconds and we're going to remove start and we're going to make this fixed update because we're working with physics and it always needs to be with a fixed update then we're going to create a new function called public void use a jetpack then in here we are going to set that the current vector is going to be vector 3.up so always you are always going up whenever you're using a jetpack but um, you can always go left and right so we're going to say current factor plus is transmit at the right but we don't want it always we only want to have it right whenever you put in the e or the d key so what we're going to do is going to multiply it by input dot get um, access and get access is a variable um, that can be minus one zero or one and it's going to be minus one whenever you are hitting uh, E and it's going to be 0 whenever you're hitting nothing and D whenever you're hitting D so it means that I'll just go left and right just exactly as we want to and uh, we're going to um, say that the variable is horizontal and this is something um, we can just quickly see within the um, input inspector just at the end of this tutorial what exactly horizontal and vertical means if you don't have used it before so forward I'm going to say that this is going to be vertical so exactly the same uh, story and then we're going to say charcont.move whenever you cannot access um, this function you just need to go here and just go to uh, definition definition uh, right click by the way and just change this to public um, most versions already got that maybe a few don't so I'm just seeing this so then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to oops we're going to have here a current factor multiplied by the speed multiplied by the time dot fixed delta time so this is like of course we're going up or down and uh, and everything like that but we're going to remove also the charcon.fellowcity because this is not the only script that's using this one also the first person controller which we're going to change a little few things inside there but 
uh, we just want to make sure that that is just removed and only we are currently making sure that anything is happening. Uh, you can do some multiple ways. This is one of the ways. Multiplied by the current force. So uh, that's also something we're going to. I'm going to explain within a few seconds. So here, what we're going to do is whenever you have um, an input. Not get key. So whenever you're holding down key code dot space, so that means the space bar, and um, you the max force is more than zero, so it means your fuel isn't um, well is still there. We're going to say that max force minus time the delta time. So we're saying that you can be five seconds in the air. And whenever you're just removing this every second, so it means that you can only be a maximum of five seconds in the air. And if the current force is less than one, we're just going to move towards it. So current force plus time dot delta time, and we're just going to multiply it by four um, or ten. You just so this is a very uh, fast lerp line. Uh, you're going to very fast, uh, quickly lerp to this variable to one, and it's just to make it a little bit um, less chaotic, but still, it's just very soon so that players don't think of so, ah, oh, we have to wait another second before it's going to start, and so on. So, current force is going to be one if this more than one. So, just to make sure that uh, cheaters cannot do anything against it, then if max force is less than zero and the current force is more than zero so it means that you don't have any fuel left but still you are in the air we're going to say that the current force is going to be minus time dot delta time so we're just going to uh, go down to earth and then here we are going to do another thing and that is that whenever um, you aren't holding the uh, input dot get key. So whenever you are just not using, uh, you're not using your jetpack. We are just going to fill the max force. So like the fuel. So here we are just going to say that if the current force is going to be more than zero, the current force is going to be minus time dot delta time. So we're just making sure here that the uh, that you would just lure back. And if this is less, so we don't want it to be in a minus, we're just going to say that current force is zero. Then also we're going to hear another if else statement. If the max force is less than five, so that's the maximum. We are just going to say that max force is going to be plus the time dot delta time. Then, if it is more than five, we're just going to say it is five. So this is just to make sure that people aren't cheating again. Um, then at the end, we're going to actually call this function, and we're going to do that, of course, if the current force is more than zero. So it means you are actually using it. So use jetpack. And now we can just very easily add this to our script and will work. But there is something else. Well, let's just test it. Uh, by the way, if you want to see what inputs are, just go to file or edit, I mean project settings, input and just go around here and just do some uh, things with this. Horizontal and vertical are just the uh, WESD keys. Um, here we're just going to FPS controller at jetpack and we're just going to assign everything we need to assign and then we are just going to play it for the first time but we need to fix something just to keep that in mind so here whenever it all looks fine and well but now if you come down we got a weird little jump and we don't want that jump so what we're going to say is that whenever we are up we're going to set uh, the jump to uh, false. 
So here we're going to, this is a, normally a private pool. We just consider it is a public pool. So what we're going to do is whenever we are in a jetpack and using the jetpack, if the first mesh controller dot jump so is true, then we're going to say that fc dot jump is false. So let's just make sure that you won't jump afterwards. Um, as you can now see. So this is kind of the whole tutorial. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week with another tutorial. Bye.